Python have a range of libraries and functions which can help us to perform various data manipulations on tables. And today, I'm going to show you how we can connect our database with Python using SQL Alchemy library and then we will be performing some basic operations like reading the data, inserting and updating and also we will be dropping some tables using the Python code itself. So hey everyone, my name is Akash and welcome back to my channel TechBees where I talk about Python, machine learning and software related stuffs. And without further ado, let's get started. Let us first establish the connection between our database and Python. I'm going to use SQL Alchemy library, which is a Python SQL toolkit. And this is also an object relational mapper, which basically gives our application developer the power and flexibility of using SQL. I'm going to make use of Postgres SQL as the database where my tables are stored but you can also use any database like Oracle, MySQL, etc. And all we need here is a connection string. Now what is connection string? So connection string is basically a string that specifies information about the data source and how we can basically connect to it. So this string basically contains the information like the username, password, host name, our database name, etc. SQL Alchemy has a very good documentation of major databases and their connection string. Let me quickly bring this up and you will see that it supports multiple databases. For example, here there is Postgres database which I'll be using, but you can use any database and all you need is these connection strings. And you can see the services are of Oracle, Microsoft SQL servers, SQLite, etc. So you can just make use of uh, this documentation for the respective connection string of your database. Now, now that we know our connection string, we need to use that in our Python code. So first I have already imported the necessary libraries of Pandas and SQL Alchemy. I will create an engine which basically manages our database connection. So I'm going to write engine equals SQL Alchemy dot create create engine and inside this I'm going to make use of the connection string. So I basically need the Postgres connection string. So I'm just going to copy this and I will paste it here. My uh, database name is Postgres SQL and my username is Postgres. And my password is admin. It can vary according to the user. And my database name is formapp. And when I run this, okay, I need to define this. And when I run this, we will see that it has ran successfully. And if we just print the engine, it will basically give that our connection has been established and we are ready to basically query the databases. Now let us read some table data. And for that, pandas has a function read SQL table. So I'm just going to write student details. That's actually the table name, but I'm going to read it dot read SQL table. And in here we need to provide the table name, which is student details and also our engine which we recently connected and if we execute this it will run successfully and if we print our data frame it will basically return whatever the data was present in our database table and that's how we can basically read 
any table from our Python code. Just like we have read a particular table, we can also read a particular query. For example, suppose we want to read the join of two tables. We can perform this operation by reading a join query instead of reading a single table. Pandas has a function pt.readsqlquery which supports this operation. Let's try this out. My query is a join query and that will be basically a join of student details and student marks. And this is query is basically stored in a variable which is query. And now we need to basically read this. So df which is our data frame equals pd dot read SQL query and in here we will pass our query and our engine and we also can print our data frame and if we execute this we will see that we have got the join of two queries and that's how we can basically not only read a particular table but we can also uh, read any type of select query there is also this function pt.readsql which basically combines uh, these uh, two functions which is pt.readsql query and pt.readsql table so instead of uh, basically using these two different functions we can just make use of df1 equals pd dot read sql and if we provide our query and engine we would be able to get our desired output and instead of query if we want to read any individual table then we can just provide it so in here i want to provide student marks and if we read this basically we will get that particular table data only so this function which is pd.readsql basically combines pd.readsql table and pd.readsql query and makes our work much more easier now i'm going to insert a new row in this pandas data frame and write that from python back to our database so let us insert a new row in our student details table and this can be done by student details of dot log so basically we want to insert the new row at the end so we will be wanting the length of this and we will pass our required data in the form of a list so let me just provide this let's say row number is 38 class is 7 and blood and gender is male and blood group is ab and the role the phone number is anything and if we execute this it might have inserted the new row back to our data frame so if we can see this data is present right here and now if we want to insert this data back to our database pandas has a function which is uh, data frame dot to sql which basically writes the record stored in a data frame back to a sql database and currently we want to override our existing database table with the data frame which contains an additional row and we can do that by using the function which is our data frame which is student details dot to to sql and in here we will first mention which table should we override so the table name is st 
student details and we will also pass our engine so connection is our engine and we will also ignore our index index equals false and this is very important parameter so this basically says this basically says that if our particular record is already present then we basically replace it with the new record so it doesn't changes anything it just doesn't create any duplicate values so we will write if exists equal replace and if we execute this we will see that this has been executed successfully and now if we want to re-query our database so first we can see that there are only six unique records present and if we query this again we will see that a new record which is Seth has been added so that's how we can basically write a particular row back to the database by using the python code and similarly we can perform update and delete operations too just by updating and deleting rows and writing back to our database i have already made a video on 10 basic operations which we can perform in pandas and i have shared the link in description that has update and delete operations and make sure you check them out as well the last thing I want to cover in this video is how we can drop a table from our code. To drop a table, we need to execute a SQL command, something like drop table table name. Now pandas doesn't have a function typically just for dropping a table, but we can still execute this drop table query using cursors. So first we will get the connection and cursor object which will allow us to execute such queries on the database. So let me just quickly get the connection. Connection equals engine dot raw connection. And we also need to create a cursor object. Cursor equals connection dot cursor and now we need to provide the particular query which contains the details of the table which we want to drop so we want to drop our student details table and if we run this we will have our query ready and now all we need to do is execute this query so we need to execute this so cursor dot execute our query and we also need to commit this uh, database transaction so connection dot commit and we will also need to close our cursor so cursor dot and if we execute this okay execute exe okay if we execute this we will get now no error so basically it means that our query has been executed successfully and if we check our database and query this student details table again we will see that this table doesn't exist so our query was successful and we have successfully dropped a particular table from the database using python code and that's all folks in this video i hope these basic tips of connecting database with python and performing various manipulations was helpful also make sure to subscribe our channel to hack the youtube algorithm and I'll be posting much more content on Python machine learning stuffs. So thanks for watching.